Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to continue our design system. And what we're going to do in this particular section is we're going to create the color styles in Figma. So let's go ahead. And the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go under pages and we're going to create a brand new page, which we're going to um, basically rename as color styles. And uh, let's add a color emoji. So let's figure out something which is artistic. So let's go over here again. Okay, I'm spending way too much time on this emoji thing. Um, anyways, let's let's get started. And we're going to go at the emoji just later on. I don't want to start by boring you guys so let's create a frame let's make it 1000 pixels of width and we're going to essentially lay out all of the main sections so we're going to have some neutral colors at first and um, let's just use monster i think it's it's a good one for this uh, specific example. And uh, let's just add a few few texts here. So we're going to have the primary color. And basically what we want to do here is to add all of the different uh, shades and main colors that we're going to use in this uh, app. So I'm going to write here success. We're going to have some warning colors. And uh, let's just increase uh, the height over here. I'm going to have uh, error colors. Let's add just a few more. Then we're going to tweak this uh, in just a moment. We have shades and they're in the dark mode. All right, so far, so good. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, we're simply going to remove a little bit of the spacing. I'm going to make this just a bit smaller so that it's more um, compressed, if you wish. And uh, let's start adding these colors in the Figma file. So let's round it up just a little bit. And uh, we're going to have uh, some uh, a uh, smaller text below, which uh, is going to serve us as uh, a basic indication. And uh, here we might add uh, things like uh, uh, the hex color values. So, all right, I think this could uh, work well as we start. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. And uh, yeah, probably going to make this one just regular. And that uh, could work. All right, so I'm using Shift plus the Option key in order to duplicate this. I'm going to use Command D just to, just to duplicate this a few times. And uh, we are in business. Now let's make this just a bit lighter because you don't want uh, as much visual emphasis on these elements. And um, I'm going to duplicate these guys just a few times. One, two, three, four, five, six. How much we have? Eight. So, yeah. Let's uh, could potentially center it. Let's do that. So trying us and center it across the different colors. And uh, here we go. All right. Shades. We have this dark mode. Which we're going to bring over here. And uh, yeah think we are in business. Now we already have some uh, some colors from the buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, add a few of these uh, as uh, samples, if you wish. So we can leverage them for our color styles. All right. 
So the very first uh, um, element that I wanted to basically add is uh, this one right here, the main blue. And we're going to have this uh, darker color and then we're going to have just shades of blue. So I'm going to use option plus command in order to uh, quickly duplicate this uh, um, just a few times. Then what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to have uh, lighter tints of this blue actually before i do that uh, i'm going to add also the other colors and uh, the reason being is um that you know it's, it's going to make sense in just a moment but let's just start with these so here's the darker one and then it's going to go lighter and uh, probably we could switch actually so let's just do that to make it easier to make logic sense of this decision and uh, here's the or actually the warning yeah this, this one's going to be the error state so um let's we're going to have uh, another color for the warning it'll be like in between red and um red and orange something around these lines probably so that could work pretty well. And uh, now let's create a tint of a darker color for the neutrals. And um, yeah, what we're gonna do next is we're essentially going to uh, just try and, and figure out like a few of uh, the colors in the design system. So we're going to have a dark mode just going to leverage these type of, uh, of colors. Let's just make it a little bit on this side. We're just going to create like different variations and uh, let's use option plus command and uh, or actually option command plus C and then option command plus V in order to copy these guys. We're going to make sense of this in just a moment. So just bear with me. What we're doing at the moment is it's pretty straightforward. We are essentially trying to figure out the overall um, overview when it comes to these. And then we're going to um, go more granular as we proceed. All right, so far, so good now what we're gonna do next uh, is uh, we are essentially going to create uh, the lighter versions of these colors so i'm going to you know, like eyeball these and create uh, the lighter versions now as you can as you can see for some colors we're going to have to manually adapt since they're not going to be directly uh, linked uh, and uh, as clear as the ones above or below but uh, yeah overall it's just a matter of uh, figuring out uh, a lighter tone and, uh, and adjusting it uh, and going from there i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time since i want to keep this uh, practical for you guys but uh, feel free to basically go ahead at home and uh, really go more granular and you can experiment just as much as you want really with these have a lot of room for experimentation and uh yeah just just trying new new things all right so here we go we're going uh, all is going well i would say and uh, yeah, we're proceeding in the right direction. All right. And this is all going to make uh, more sense uh, in just a moment, guys. So just bear with me on this. Right. 
going to be another lighter shade. This last one's going to be like super light. <laughs> All right. So maybe for the dark mode, uh, just need uh, a few of these. Something like that. Yeah. All right. So another thing that we want to do is to change these values, but I, we're, we're probably going to do that uh, just uh, um, after afterwards. So let's just focus on doing one thing first, which is uh, just reorganize this uh, color styles just a little bit. So I'm going to select all of these, group them together in groups, and uh, basically adding a little bit of more spacing in between so they look more organized overall and I could potentially even just remove the, the groups for now um, or actually let's let's keep it just in case so all right now it's time to go ahead and create the different color styles so how do you create the color styles very easy you select uh, one of these styles right here and as you can see under the fill section you're going to see color styles and uh, once you click on it you're going to already see that we have a library connected um, we can um, also show it as a list and uh, basically in order to create a color style simply click on create style what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, the very first uh, name of the color, which is going to be neutral. And then we're going to add uh, the type of style that, that we have. So we're going to write in this case 50 with the slash, and this is going to create the subdivision, which you're going to see in just a moment. So basically it's going to create this section, which without the slash you wouldn't um, necessarily created. So let's go ahead and let's uh, add also some other values. And these values are going to be useful for uh, developers, for example, so that they can set uh, them up uh, in uh, the CSS. And uh, of course, you can add like different type of values. We're adding incremental ones right here. But yeah, we can uh, we definitely have uh, uh, freedom of choice over here. So let's do it just 300, 300. So it doesn't necessarily need to be like specific numbers, specific values. This one's going to be 400 and so on and so forth. And this one, 500. All right. So essentially going to go ahead and create uh, the different uh, <clears throat> color styles directly from uh, here. So neutral 100 and I'm simply going to use uh, copy and paste uh, here in order to basically add these styles fast. This one's going to be 300 so as you can see pretty straightforward it's going to take a while but uh, at first but uh, this is essentially going to be a one-off uh, job and um, yeah you don't really need to do it uh, all the time once it's set it's set and uh, it's going to be very easy to basically adjust uh, all of the other um, styles on the go in your design system uh, once uh, these are all um, nice and, uh, and set up really. So just a one-off uh, that is going to pay dividends for the uh, entire part of the, pro of the project. By the way, guys, I'm taking the time to remind you that I recently launched a course on how to get started in UI UX design. So 
If you're interested in that topic, uh, feel free to check it out. I have it in the link in the description. And uh, basically, I am sharing uh, some of the advice that I wanted to receive when I first started out uh, over eight uh, years ago. It's been a while. It's been a while. And um, yeah, if you're interested in that topic, and also feel free to um, check out my Instagram or DM me on, on Instagram, even better. If you have any specific uh, questions that you'd like to, uh, you'd like me to to answer, and things of that nature, because I'm always looking forward to uh, trying to help you guys, and uh, yeah, also to understand better the type of uh, questions that that you have, so I I can create uh, videos which uh, are going to answer those topics uh, um, for you and uh, essentially help you out even more because the more information I gather, the more data I gather on this specific topic, uh, the easier it's going to be uh, for me to create uh, quality content, which uh, uh, is actually going to help because one of the issues of being a, um, a creator is that uh, sometimes you Maybe you don't run out of ideas. I don't think that's the case, but you want to be a hundred percent sure that you are in line with what uh, your um, students are looking for. And um, so, yeah, any input, any feedback on that, uh, always really, really um, interested in hearing from you guys. So yeah, <laughs> don't be shy and feel free to reach out to me if uh, um, if uh, I can help with something essentially so all right we're near the end so as you can see this is just like one of those uh, um, like repeating uh, tasks thing I'm actually thinking there is a there must be a better way of doing this there might, I, I could probably like rename uh, the all of the layers and uh, leverage some sort of plugin um, if anyone knows of uh, a plugin because I haven't even searched for it before uh, for shooting a video I always did it manually in Figma at least um, but yeah if anyone knows of uh, such thing uh, do let me know because the more time we can save uh, as designers especially if you're freelancing the more uh, money and time you can have for you and your family so always always appreciated to <laughs> uh, to figure out the in the way which requires less time so all right uh, if we did our due diligence correctly we now can literally like create something um, in Figma and we have all of these color styles, which we can literally leverage. We can easily change all of these things. And the cool thing is that, let's say that I used uh, the primary uh, color in uh, a bunch of different uh, pages and uh, you know, in, in the app uh, in general. And let's say that you, the team wants a rebranding <coughs> and the main color is not going to be uh, this one right here, but uh, it's going to, for example, like be changed um, to, to another one. You can literally just say, hey, I'm going to, to rebrand this uh, to, to another color. And uh, if, you, if you've done your due diligence, you, you can essentially change it uh, directly. So that's uh, one of the things that uh, you can definitely do if uh, you set this up uh, correctly. So you can go on edit style and uh, say, okay, this is the new, the new primary color. It's updated throughout uh, all of the application. So hope you enjoyed this video. I want to remind you that this is a series in which uh, we're going to continue in uh, the next one with uh, some more design system elements and uh, goodies.